Hey guys, so this video today is going to be my July favourites and I honestly don't really have that much stuff this month to show you because I haven't been really into that many new products that I've gotten this month but next month is a really busy month for me and I don't really know how much time I'm going to spend shopping and stuff like that so I did really want to do a favourites video so I thought why not just show you guys a few things that I've been loving this month and I do apologise for my hair looking a bit of a state it just would not do anything today so um, let's get straight into it I start off with hair products and the first one is this Joico K pack Revitalux Bio Advanced Restorative Treatment which looks like this and I got this from my old salon um, months ago, maybe like five months ago or so. And I really, really have been enjoying it, um, especially this month I've kind of rediscovered it because I didn't really use it that much when I got it and kind of over a period of time I just stopped using it. But I absolutely love it, I definitely see a difference in my hair. And it's basically just meant to revitalize, nourish and repair uh, your hair if your hair is dry or if it's kind of brittle. Um, it says deliver complete restoration and hydration to dry damaged hair, instantly leaves hair stronger, softer and more moisturized. So I just put this on in the shower and um, when I get out of the shower I definitely notice a difference. My hair is a lot smoother and it definitely kind of manages it a bit more. It's not all crazy over the place. So. I've really been liking this treatment. I definitely recommend it for anybody that has kind of like dry damaged hair or if your hair is coloured and it's gone through that kind of process of being damaged from colouring. I definitely recommend um, this treatment. So I've been loving that. <coughs> and I have seen that a bit on YouTube anyway, so it must be quite a good product. So the next... Oops. Sorry, just touched everything. So the next um, product is another product for hair which I've been liking and it's the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Anti-Frizz Serum which looks like this and I've really really been loving this this month um, it's for frizzy dry and unmanageable hair and it has argan oil from Morocco and apricot and it's just basically supposed to make your hair 10 times smoother fight frizz for 48 hours um, deal with humidity and all that sort of stuff and the smell of this is really, really nice. It's just, I don't know, it's a really nice um, smelling product. And the way that I use this is I just put it into my hair when my hair is wet and then brush it through and then I don't blow dry my hair. I just kind of leave it to air dry. And I definitely notice a difference. When I don't put this in my hair when it's wet and I let it air dry, it just goes all over the place. It's frizzy, it's, you know, unmanageable. I can't really do a lot to it um, in order for it to look great. But when I put this in my hair and I wake up the next morning and my hair is dry, it's just so much smoother. It makes your hair really, really shiny. And it's just so much more manageable. If you suffer from kind of frizzy hair and brittle hair, especially if you have kind of like brittle ends and split ends, this definitely is a really, really good product to use. And I also use this on dry hair, just kind of at the ends of my hair and also the mid length. And it just kind of makes your hair smoother. It makes it a little bit more manageable. And um, as I said, if you have kind of split ends, it's really, really good to use to kind of make your hair look a bit more healthier. So <coughs> I've been loving that. Okay, next is makeup. So these are all makeup products. Um, I have two products from MAC, <coughs> excuse me, that I've been loving. The first one is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. And I got this this month. I have really been liking this product just as a highlight. At first I wasn't too sure how I thought about it because I was kind of thinking it was a bit too shimmery. Um, but it actually is a really, really nice highlighter. It's not too shimmery if you put it on kind of lightly, and I just really like it. I like highlighters that you can definitely see a difference in your skin. So I've really been liking this one. So that's Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. And then another product I've really been liking this month is Max um, Eyeshadow in Naked Lunch, which is a frost if you're not aware. But um, it looks like this. 
and it's just basically a kind of pearl um, vanilla kind of coloured eyeshadow and I really really like it just for kind of all over the lid with a bit of colour in the crease or under the brow as like a highlight it's just kind of a very versatile eyeshadow so oh and I'm gonna drop it so um, I've really really been liking this one for this month another makeup product which I've been liking is this lipstick and this is actually um, a really really cheap brand in Australia I think they only sell it in Australia but I'm not sure and it's called BYS and it looks like this. Very, very cheap packaging. Um, not very expensive. I think this was like $3 or something like that. But it is in Sassy Salmon. And it's just a really, really pretty um, pink, basically. There's not really any other colour in it, but it's just a really, really pretty pink, if you guys can see that. And I absolutely love the fact that this lipstick for the price is such great quality and it also stays on for quite a long time but with kind of pinks and kind of brighter colours I don't really wear them very often but this is definitely something that's really really wearable especially on my skin tone so I've been loving that so it's BYS lipstick in Sassy Salmon. I've also really been liking this lip liner which is from Essence and it's called um, Cute Pink number 07 and this is just basically a rosy kind of mauvey dark pink if you can see that and I have actually just been using this as like an all over lip colour not as a liner just as kind of like a lipstick and it definitely does last a little bit longer than you know a normal lipstick but it's actually a really really pretty colour and it just kind of makes your lips look a little bit more fuller as well which I really like so I've been using that a lot. I think I'm going to invest a little bit more in a few other lip liners because they're really handy to kind of have and they're obviously a lot cheaper than lipsticks. Okay, second last product that I've been loving this month is the Maybelline One by One Volume Express Mascara and this is just a really really good mascara if you're kind of looking for um, length and volume in the same mascara. The wand just looks like this. It's kind of like one of those thicker type ones that you do see quite a lot um, that are really popular and that work really well with mascaras but I really do like it. It is quite a black mascara but it's not really the blackest that you could get. This one I think is in um, satin black and it's just a really really good mascara as I said if you're kind of looking for something that gives you length as well as volume this works really really well and I'm not a humongous fan of Maybelline mascaras but I do really like this one and then the last favourite this month has been my Real Techniques Real Techniques brushes by Samantha Chapman and this one is just the core cool collection which comes with the buffing brush um, the stippling brush, the foundation brush, which I honestly don't use, the kind of, I forget what this one's called, I think it's concealer, I think I remember reading that, and the contour brush. My favourite brushes out of this are probably the buffing brush and the contour brush. I was using the stippling brush for my blush, but um, I've kind of changed up since then, but I absolutely love this collection and I do not find any shedding with this which I really really like so that's Real Techniques brushes and I like the fact that it comes in this kind of like <laughs> what's this called I don't know holder I guess I can just kind of sit it on my dressing table and it just stands up and it's really easy to kind of grab so those are my favorites for July I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video bye